This week's Toy Talk Friday is made possible by awesome people like 2bitrobot.co.uk, GaryRozanski.com, ToyTerror.com, Lionel.co.uk and AppleTiger.com. Check out their links below as well as all the links from this week's show. Greetings Toy fans, welcome to Toy Talk Friday, a weekly show where we talk about latest toy news and stuff that's interesting me. And first up, let's give a quick shout out to KV and the two drops that are happening on February the 3rd. 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is the time you need to make an all to that. Here they are, the two amazing drops, a vinyl and a plush version. The plush version is limited to 100 pieces. It's made using soft white polar fleece. Comes with a hand cut bit, hand cut bear nozzle. And yeah, it comes with a bag and the badge and all that kind of thing. Uh, $26 is the p price on that. Absolute bargain because it's handmade and just awesome. And the vinyl version is $24 and is limited to 20 number pieces. Here they are, absolutely adorable in my opinion. What do you guys think? Kind of crazy seeing like the different sizes of these now. I kind of dig them. Go check out the cable links below. Don't want to be missing this. 3rd February, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so in last week's show, we gave a quick mention to MAD and the 10 year anniversary of the MAD Out, which kind of crazy and pretty awesome at the same time. And to commemorate this event, MAD has released three of the popular MAD Owls uh, in five inch versions. These are 400 pieces of each. Uh, you can get each one for $35 or $100 for all three. They come in a UV printed box and a custom sticker to accompany the Madel that you choose. Pretty cool in my opinion, absolute bargain as well. Here they are, I like the um, I like the middle one and the multicolored one, they're my two favourites. I'll link below to Mad Store below so get these while you can because they might not stick around for long and congratulations to Mad for the 10 year anniversary. Okay so next up let's give a quick mention to Kid Robot, uh, yeah this is the Kid Robot segment. Uh, basically Kid Robot's got that thing of basically not really doing much and then pfft, a million things going off at once. Uh, first up, some of that I thought would just have happened ages ago. Uh, Kid Robots releasing a reusable money, uh, a seven inch money, and then six reusable markers so you can doodle all over it, then rub it off and doodle all over it again. It just seems like this should have been done a while ago, in my opinion, but it's kind of cool because now it appeals to kids and people like me who are shite at drawing and will try and draw some of it and it'll look just awful basically so that's a kind of cool idea if you want to get your kids some money i mean money's a what like 10 15 quid for money and once you've kids had a go on it or you've had a go on it and you've ruined it not really a lot you can do is there so the idea of being able to redo it if you muck up or if your kids have got it and they can just constantly use it that's a nice idea isn't it what do you guys think okay next up frank kozak labbits uh yeah I, I like some of the Labbits, I hate some of the Labbits, what can you do? Anyway, I, can, I really like these just because the packaging looks amazing. The two and a half inch Labbit blister packs, $11.99 for these. No word on if they're really limited or not, I doubt it, it's Kid Robot. I, I dig these, I'm hoping that Forbidden Planet in Nottingham will get these because I really want to check them out. And These are the four designs at the moment, but what's to say they don't do dunnies like this? I mean... We do dunny blind boxes, but then you know you get the dunnies that are... We know what the dunny is, like the case exclusives and things like that. What's to say we don't get a blister card version of that? It kind of makes sense in my opinion, so maybe this is the natural progression of Kid Robot. And if it's not, get on the case, Kid Robot, because I think a blister card version of a dunny would be amazing. Okay, so next up for Kid Robot news, because there's two more things to go. This is the second to last. Price at $10. Comes on February the 20th. Any guesses? Anyone? No? Futurama, another series. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm still a bit of a meh because I don't really see the point. Some people like it, some people hate it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of mentioning this for number one, I kind of still like Futurama. And number two, it doesn't look as terrible as some of the others like The Simpsons and The South Park. The proportions kind of make sense. The sculpting looks decent and not terrible. In all, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't look shite. Top work, Kid Robot. Okay, and the final bit of Kid Robot news is kind of the best news in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to give you a lot of information about this, in fact, because let's be honest, it's sold out. It's probably on eBay for a million dollars. And I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight because I can't afford it and I'll never own it. Let's be honest. So, it's a Cook G 3-inch Kid Robot dunny. Sounds crap. It's a Kid Robot 3-inch Hook G dunny. Wait for it. In an 8-inch... Dunny Mech. Remember ages ago when I mentioned the Dr. Ray thing and it should have a little dunny inside it? Come on, kid robot. The 
let's do more of this, shall we? $200, okay, kind of expensive. Might have to sell an organ or two to afford it. It's a fringe dunny in an 18 inch mech. That's pretty cool. As much as I want to hate this, a part of me, the little child that likes war and explosions, is just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that, that's the best bit of Kid Robot news, and that's my little squeal. Mm -hmm. uh, Kid Robot did something awesome, like super awesome. It's like three A levels of awesome before they went shite. Uh, yeah, that's that's the Kid Robot roundup for this week. Out of all the news, what what kind of interests you the most? Was it the reusable markers for the dunnies, or was it the mech? It's got to be the mech, surely, surely. Or maybe maybe it's the Futurama stuff. In which case, go away. Okay, so next up, I wouldn't normally give these a mention because art gallery releases normally just happen at the event. They sell out. You're never normally able to get it. But I really want to give this one a mention. So Luke Chu is taking part in something called the Cat Art Show. And no, I know what you're thinking. A bunch of cats doing posh art. I wish. Anyway, Luke Chu's doing a really cool piece called Love and Allergies. Here it is. Limited to 80 to 85 copies. They're not really sure at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is $250. It's 16 by 20 inches. And if you're like me and you can't get to the event, which is taking place on February the 1st, uh, don't worry, you can email somebody. I've got the link here. It's susan at catartshow.com. I'll link below to the actual events page where you can get more information on this. Uh, susan at the catartshow.com. If you want to get hold of one of these, $250. I really dig this. Get yourself one. Go to the Cat Art Show link. I'll link it below, like I said. Just if you can afford it and you want to get it, get it. That's why I'm giving it a mention. And also, I really like Luke Chu. His work's amazing. So, the Cat Art Show. We should get cats to do posh art and call it the cat art show. If you own a cat and you want to get involved, let's do this shit. Okay, so next up, let's give a quick mention to Collecting Display. Uh, they collaborated with a bunch of artists. Each month they're going to release some custom work from each artist. You go to Collecting Display, you buy the piece, that's awesome. Uh, Collecting Display link, I'll link it below and you can get a full list of the artists and everyone who's involved. Go check it. No word on price, not even for tonight's release. So, 8 o'clock tonight, go to Collecting Display. Go check it out, because I imagine it's going to be pretty awesome. First up, and my artist to watch out for in 2014, is Toy Terror. Here's his release for this year of January, and these look absolutely amazing. Okay, so in this series, is four 3-inch dunnies and four 2.5-inch micro monies. Uh, I've got a whole list of what's going to be on here. I'm not going to try and read the names out, because I know I'm going to cock it up, and my throat's actually killing me. Uh, first up, the Giant Skeleton. This is colour and mono version. The Ghost Mask. This is mono. Uh, Red Tongue and River Beast Ghoul, mono version. River Children, colour and mono version. Wolf slash Cat Like Beast, colour version. Ghost of the Giant Whale Skeleton, mono version. Manchester United 2, Wales 1. Uh, yeah, sorry if I've messed those names up. Anyway, look at the picture. They're all amazing. Go check out Toy Terror and Collecting Display t below. Tonight, 8 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time is when they drop. No word on price, you're going to have to go look. And it's amazing. Really cool idea. Go, like I said, go check out the list on Collect Display for all the artists involved. It's a great mix of artists. And yeah, really great series. Fingers crossed for Rich tonight. I hope they all sell out well. And apologies if I've screwed any of those up. Okay, so next up, uh, I just want to give a quick mention to this because I think it's quite awesome. Uh, Course Toys released this. It's an actual wooden omen. Limited to 25 pieces. This was $400. Actual wooden omen. Omen, amazing. Sold out super fast. This was only available to the family and friends club. For people who are unaware, if you buy a course piece that isn't the French Omens, you get a little bank card. When you um, scratch off the code on the back, you get a little code. You get three or more codes, you join the family and friends club. And basically that's a way of saying thanks for supporting course and helping us grow. In return, you get access to exclusive stuff, including amazing drops like this. I love that idea. I love the idea that the company is saying, look, you've supported us, you've collected our pieces, you're helping us grow. Here's a cool drop for you. Okay, a lot of the family and friends might not be able to get it, but the people who did feel appreciated. And I think that's kind of cool. Um, the reason I want to mention it, how, could it, how cool would it be if other toy companies took this on? You know? It's not difficult. Take the Dunny, for example, the 8-inch Dunny. Every time you bought an 8-inch dunny, you got a point or two points. 
If you got five points or four points or whatever amount of points, you got in the Dunny Club. And every couple of months, Kid Robot did a special Dunny Club Dunny that you could buy. How cool would that be? And it not only drives people to want to buy your things because they'll feel appreciated, it's just it's just nice to feel loved and respected sometimes. And this is kind of amazing that courses like, here's a wooden omen. This was, you know, this wasn't hyped up, right? It was just like, they posted an image on Facebook and the last time I looked, it had sold out, which is mental. Um, yeah, $400 is a lot of money, but it's in the same price range as the Kid Robot Black series. The Kid Robot Black series is made mo bleh, mostly vinyl, and half that stuff doesn't really sell out. And the Kid Robot Black series has got that element of it's supposed to be art and stuff. It doesn't always feel like art. Whereas this, this is just beautiful. Imagine this on a library bookshelf with some old books. It's amazing. That's why I wanted to give it a mention just because I'd like to see more companies take on this approach of support us. We'll support you by saying thanks and doing exclusive drops. Just my opinion. What do you guys think? So that's Total Friday, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, before I go, I'm going to link to a couple of things. First up, Joe Ledbetter has done an amazing video where he talked about the creation of a designer toy from start to finish. I'll link it below. It's super interesting and definitely worth a watch. And the second piece, if you're a fan of Terry Gilliam and his movies, such as The Amazing Brazil, one of my favourites, he's done another film. The trailer dropped a couple of days ago. It stars Christoph Waltz as a bold guy. Crazy. When I first watched the trailer, I was just like, that sounds like Christoph Waltz. Is that, that's Christoph, Christoph Waltz is bold. Uh, yeah, Terry Gilliam's done another sci-fi film. It's called The Zero Theorem. I imagine it's going to be another film like Brazil where you need to watch it a million times to get your head around it. Hopefully it's amazing. I'll link below to the trailer. Please go check it out because it's super, super cool. And yeah, they're the two videos I want you to go check out. This has been Toy Talk Friday. Thanks a bunch for the love and support. I love you all. Check out all the links below. Go show some love to my sponsors, and I'll see you soon. Bye. This week's Toy Talk Friday is made possible by awesome people like 2bitrobot.co.uk, GaryRizanski.com, ToyTerror.com, Lionel.co.uk, and AppleTiger.com. Check out their links below, as well as all the links from this week's show.